back here at Mountain View Cemetery in Oakland for part two. As I said in my previous video, this place is so huge, I could probably do several videos from here alone. And it's very fascinating. Now I'm gonna explore the other side of the cemetery. Last time, across the way over there, I explored that side, across the road. Now I'm going to explore this side and see what kind of unique stuff, historic stuff, or just plain simple, different stuff we can find up in here. You ready for the adventure? Let's go. Now there are some areas of this cemetery that are paved, but there's still a lot that are basically dirt and gravel still. And we probably are gonna even encounter some joggers, people walking their pets. I mean, this is a pretty popular place for people to come to just have lunch or jog or whatever. Ooh, we found another interesting one. This pillar work right here. Wow. This one is closed up, so you really can't see the inside. But, jeez. How beautiful this is. It's groundwork, too. As is in the last area I was in, there's a lot of uphill walking <laughs> in the hot sun. But that is okay. Wow, the uh, trees here are overgrown on this one. Let me see if I can get through here. Walker, Walkerly is the name. Wow. Pioneer of 1845, William Walker Lee. I don't know if you can make that out, but geez. Got some pioneers buried here. There's that plaque in loving memory of Albert Addison Buswell Burbank, Nancy Burbank Sears, and Frederick Burbank Sears inside this unique little area here. This is beautiful. This is this is insane. Very nice. Very beautiful. Wow. This one says Pratt, and you got to watch your step out here at Mountain View Cemetery because I guess people must bring horses or something through here because on the dirt gravel there are horse droppings. You got to watch out for out here. Wow. Look at that stained glass work in there. Interesting carving, carved chairs, wooden chairs in there too. Newcomb, John Wesley. Died July 30th, 1883, aged 29 years. Ooh. I've said this before and I'll say it again. A lot of these people who are alive back in the 1800s, a lot of them died very, very young. I just can't get over that. You know, I'm, I'm 47, almost 48. And, um, you know, a lot of these people never made it out of their 20s back in the day, you know? Emily Long died July 27th, 1886, 34 years, 11 days. At the bottom it says, she seems but dead. You can see the cannon right in front of me. There's different cannons in this one area that are stationed around this little burial area. This, uh, I did some research on some of the, the people in here and um, it looks like this is, uh, these are some people from the, the Civil War era. And 
they've got these little cannons on each side of the little area over here. Wow. And I looked up some of the some of the names and some of the ranks of uh, the people on these stones. And yeah, Civil War era people that are buried in here. And then there's a big main stone that's in here in the middle. That tall looking stone there. And there's another cannon at the end over here. different branches of the military. Some of these say uh, 1885 on them. Some of these stones that you can make out, some of them are to the point where you almost can't make out what this says on there. There's some history buried right here in this little section. Like I said before, if you come here to uh, Mount View Cemetery in Oakland, be ready for some uphill walking either by dirt or stairs as you can see whoa this one right here is very interesting Cogswell is the name Pioneer's tribute to Christian principles, love to God, to all mankind, his country's flag, and adopted state. Wow, that's what's described. Kind of hard to see on this thing, but. And there is the man himself, Dr. Henry D. Cogswell, in the front of this thing. These statues up top are insane. This thing is massive. It's got like I think a star at the top that illuminates at night. And at the base of this thing, there's some flowers just growing out of the looks like the cement somewhere inside. They're not just laying there, they're actually attached. They're growing. And I had to back up way on this one, way up to get it all into the shot. Jeez. Another interesting Hughes is the name H E W E S. Glass is here, but the glass is broken. Wow, I don't know if this has been vandalized or it's just fallen apart. Across the way over there, there's like still like more cemetery way over there. But I do believe I was told by somebody that the, straight across over there is a whole separate cemetery. Looks like there's a bunch of interesting crypts and whatnot um, on the hillside over there. So that might be another video in the future. As you can see, to get to the other side, the other cemetery over there, they got a log in the road here. Well, I guess they don't want people to drive down there, but you can walk down there. But like I said, that's going to be a separate, a separate video. I'll come back and do videos from here across the way over there in the future. 
remember my last video and I showed you guys Millionaire's Row? Well, this is Millionaire's Row, but this is the backside of Millionaire's Row. <laughs> Behind everything. Well, I'm not going to go back there because we don't know who might be living back here. There's the back of Millionaire's Row, but it's up, up higher. Look at it. It's the back side of it. This one is Bradbury. They got a statue right in front of the door. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if this really does it justice, but I'm up, up on top here. Actually, I didn't even realize last time when I showed you Millionaire's Row, there's actually an area behind Millionaire's Row up here where I just finding all this other stuff. That's good a, a good view of the San Francisco Bay way out there, but it's probably kind of hard to tell on this camera. I have it zoomed in all the way, but you probably cannot tell. Doing this one on my iPhone, hopefully it's a better view. As you can see out there. You can see the San Francisco Bay. It's a pretty clear day today. I think that's the port of Oakland out there too. I do believe it is. Damn, these uh, things look like mansions up in here. The stairs and everything. Now the back side of this crypt, I'm on the back side of one of them. This dark stuff on the outside, it looks like, I don't know, maybe it's just from age, maybe it's just from moisture, but, or is it seepage from the, from the people inside, I don't know, but it's interesting. This one right here must have a busted lock. Damn, this door is old. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone probably busted the lock. Look at the inside. Look at the bottom. Look at the bottom of that door, man. It's just rusting, coming apart. Try to get my shadow out of the way. Wow. This one looks like it's got a pretty new lock on it and chain. But I can't get to it from here. There's gotta be some stairs around here somewhere. Found them, found the stairs. Ooh. Winter mute. Wow. Like I said, this looks like a pretty neat chain and lock on the door. But look at the, can you tell? Look at the cobwebs hanging from the inside of this thing. Wow. Hopefully there's a better shot of the cobwebs just hanging. We can see it. It looks like a pretty new lock and chain as I stated, but it's like 1925, 1943, 1938. So I don't know. It looks like there's been a minute since someone's I don't know if you can make out all these cobwebs hanging from the ceiling. Now this one is very interesting. It's like... Stray is the name. But it's all... It's kind of like all underground. This is the top of it. I guess this is where... I guess they're right here. This almost seems like, seems like it could be the roof of structure found myself back up here at millionaires row again just because these things are just so awesome god there are some there not are there is some money buried here that's for sure
this one looks like right here. This one looks like over the years they've had problems with the door, so it looks like they put a new door on it with a new padlock from what it looks like. Hopefully this will give you a perspective on how high up I am. This is insane. Whew. If this doesn't get you into shape, nothing will. That's for sure. Another uh, one with the statue right in the doorway called T or Twombly it looks like it's the name. Now along the back side of some of these graves, I can tell people coming here late at night and do things they're probably not supposed to be doing. As you can tell, that's unfortunate. Edson Adams. This one is locked up tighter than a drum. Super exclusive, super private, I guess. Let's check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are enjoying these videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're also enjoying these videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, Therefore, you can be notified of my future endeavors. Thank you for watching.